Hi, so I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of here of the Cooler Master Hyper 212 here and the Hyper T2. So let me go ahead and show you both of these side-by-side -side from all angles. So first I'm going to show you the side. And you'll notice that the T2 is your typical 90 millimeter fan. And the 212 is a 120 millimeter fan. So this is side by side. This is the back. And the bottom here. So you notice they are as far as width or length, however you want to uh, categorize it, they're about the same width. So keep that in mind if you are, and this is the top view here. So you'll notice the T2 is a two heat pipe fan and the 212 is a four heat pipe fan. So this is what I meant when, you know, as far as the thickness of the fan itself, you know, they're both the same. The width is different. This one is a 90 millimeter and this one is a hundred. The 212 is a 120 millimeter. And let me go ahead and show you the front. So you, you could contrast, you know, just the fan size difference. And once again, the bottom. So even the bottom, you could see that there is more, you know, probably about a 25% bigger surface area as far as coverage and contact with the CPU. So you can see that. Let me zoom in here so you can see that a little bit closer. And let me contrast that with this stock fan here. So this is a AMD stock fan from an AMD 8220 which looks like a 60 millimeter fan. And you could see it's just no comparison. So I have the T4, which is similar in size to the Hyper 212, and it's worked great on my AMD 8220, which is an eight core CPU. So, so with a 212, that runs merely, you know, from 20 degree, 18 degrees Celsius all the way up to no more than 40 degrees Celsius, which is very impressive. Of course, it is true that this stock fan does have more contact area, but it doesn't have heat pipes to dissipate a lot of the heat, nor does it have the fins on this massive fan. So let me show you now the T2 side by side with this stock fan. And again, you could see there's a significant difference, this being basically a 60 millimeter fan and this being 90 millimeters. Once again, just side by side here. And really, there's no comparison. And keep in mind, this is a two heat pipe fan, as I mentioned. And let me go ahead and zoom into the accessories and the mounting plates. Now, both of these come with thermal paste. So all Cooler Master Hyper T2s and 212s and all of their models come with thermal paste. So you don't have to worry too much about the thermal paste because for the thermal paste, you're going to use like one tenth of that or even one twentieth of that. It's, it's not, you know, it's going to be plenty. So these are the motherboard mounting plates for the Hyper 212. And you can see the Intel mounting plates as well as the AMD. So I, I have the AMD. And this, this mounting hardware merely fits into this slot here. So it's a spring that tightens and pressure is applied. So you don't have to remove the mounting plate, which 
which is the great aspect of you know changing fans is um, you know if, if you don't want to remove a lot of the mounting plates on your motherboard you know that's the way to go especially with the AMDs now here's a side-by-side -side look at the three fans themselves and for the Hyper T2 that's the mounting plate and keep in mind the orientation of the fan itself so based on the way you can mount it you know it can only go this way or that way within your motherboard so uh, keep that in mind if, if you don't want to actually remove the motherboard mounting plate and realigning it and that's really it that's really what I wanted to show and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching